Well, welcome back, everybody, to uh, day two of our focus week. And uh, I hope you've all enjoyed some of the activities that we've been sharing so far for our leadership and career day. And next up, really happy and pleased to be speaking to one of our fantastic award winners who's going to be taking us through some of the background into why they were so successful in, in winning that award. And uh, really, really pleased to be joined by Maria Duke from the London Borough of Walsham Forest. Um, I hope you're all doing well, Maria. Yeah, How are you? yeah fine. Thank you, Ellen. It's, it's nice to see you again. Yeah, nice to see you as well. It's it's funny, isn't it? It seems like a while ago since yeah. June already. <laughs> no. But um, if you can cast your mind back, uh, what was the reaction like uh, by the rest of the team mm. when you came back um, with the award in your hands? And I can see it behind you there. Yes, we're, 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 <laughs> we're, we're, we're very proud of it, actually. Um, actually, the, the and thank you so much for the award, but actually the, the, team, the team's first um, reaction was shock. <laughs> um one not that they weren't worthy of an award but there were that there were such awards for this they had right. no idea that you know a purchase to pay um process is is recognized in any way yeah. um and you know that that took me back a bit thinking oh actually you know that they are recognized it is really important um and you know a lot of them said yes but we're just doing our job mm. Um, so, you know, once, once, you know, we gave them the background and, and everything, they were absolutely very proud of, you know, when, when you reflect on what you've achieved, that it's not just day to day. We have tried, we have failed, but we've succeeded as well. Um, and as a team. So, yeah, they were extremely proud of what we've achieved. And, and that's great to hear because that's, you know, one of the reasons why we host the awards in the first place is because sometimes, even still, despite the, the years that we've been doing this and, and raising the profile of people working across procure to pay there's still people, obviously, and, and, and some of the members of your team um, uh, think, well, you know, we are just doing our day job and we are just going, you know, we're paying the invoices, getting the job done. But actually, there's much more to it than that, isn't there? And how it then impacts on, on the rest of the business. And, and of course, there are those that just do their job, yeah. but there are also those that do their job and, and more. Mm. And it's that kind of uh, mindset that uh, we at PPM want to award and, and reward for doing that. And, and I'm, I'm really pleased that it is raising the voice of the, of the mm. industry um through, throughout the business uh, that people are in so it's not just within procure to pay but it's recognized within some of the wider business as well but i i think remembering uh, back to the the nomination when you've and i think you've been at um Walton forest for just less than a year um, mm. if i'm correct in thinking yeah. that when you first arrived it it seemed like everything was already going swimmingly yep. But then when you looked under the lid, things weren't quite as they seemed. Can you yeah. tell us a little bit of the background there? Yeah. I mean, as you say, things looked good. And, the, you know, it was a very good team that um, I joined. Um, you know, they had good knowledge, good skills. But when you sort of dig down into it, we were dealing with invoices on a, a payment term basis. So it was, you know, if a, if a payment wasn't due, we wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily deal with it on that day, right. um, you know, for processing, mm. et cetera. And the team were very focused on individual performance. So, you know, so long as they were doing well, that was fine. Mm. Um, and, and we all know what it's like. You receive, a, you know, an email query that could take you, you know, 10 seconds compared to, you know, seven hours um so that type of performance um you know it it just wasn't i didn't feel it was right for the team at that time mm. yes mm -hmm. we have to um monitor individual performance but actually we needed a team approach here to yes. actually start looking at um new ways of thinking of actually if we've got you know, so many emails, so many invoices, so many other different things that actually we're not, we're on the surface, looks, 
you know, okay, you know, we're processing them, mm. but it's not being done to, you know, the, the, the kind of the not not the standard, but you know, to the best that we could achieve with it. With that, did you find? Because I know it's been the case with some other organisations. Did you find that maybe some of the more um, tricky invoices some of the exceptions were being left to one side um or because if people are looking at it on an individual basis and, and certainly the number of invoices processed by fte we've we've certainly found in in other organizations that those are the ones which are left behind and then yeah. before you know it you've got a mounting stack of exceptions yeah or, or they're left to you know someone to deal with because that member of staff always deals with them right yeah so mm -hmm. so the skill set wasn't being shared across you, you know the the team so you know one person deals with one supplier mm -hmm. um but you yeah. know the team actually has good knowledge yes but they wanted speed and and it's that, isn't it? It's that it's the knowledge is there, but if it but if you're you're not sharing necessarily that knowledge throughout the team, the team as a whole then can't grow. Mm. So what what did you do to change things? So immediately dropped individual monitor, monitoring mm. um, and just emphasized the team approach. So monitored as a team, but as a as a group. So how many emails are unanswered? You know, just a bulk number. You know, how many invoices for processing? No named person, nothing. But it was what was left to process, not how many have we done, mm. but, but this is our workload. So we had a forward plan of what we yep. knew we had to deal with. So we weren't looking backwards. We weren't going, actually, I've done, you know, 50 today, you know. But, you know, going, actually, we've got 50 to process today. Mm -hmm. Um but when I first started, my priority was to actually listen to the staff. And I had one to ones with all of them. Um, and I just asked for open and honest feedback from them of yes. where, how they thought um, the processes worked, how they thought the team worked. Um, and then we had team meetings and lots of group discussions. And, you know, they, they showed the, the knowledge, they showed the skills, but they were also open um, and which is what I totally appreciate is where they thought things were going wrong mm. and also where their own knowledge they they felt uh, was lacking, but they mm. wanted to improve it. And that makes all the difference, doesn't yes. it? I think, you know, yeah. that they obviously felt with your leadership that they were that they were able to be open and share yeah. that share their knowledge and lack of knowledge, because I think yeah. that's I, important, I think isn't it? It, it is important and I, I felt they trusted me in, mm. in that um, and that they then they were, you know, able and willing to change things. You know, things didn't work straight away. You know, we, we might have tried, you know, a change of the rotor, you know, for, for two days and they've all gone, no, this doesn't work. Mm. And we just hold our hands up and go, yeah, that's absolutely fine. But I think let's try something else. Absolutely. And I think one of the things which um, stood out for us in the nomination was um, you changed as like a mindset change, wasn't mm -hmm. it? No longer questioning, you know, or thinking, oh, this is the way it's always been done. Therefore, mm -hmm. we're going to continue it. But actually thinking, OK, do you know what? Is there another way to be do to be doing this? Yeah. And it's kind of giving the team permission to question mm -hmm. things as well. Whereas, you know, we, we've I'm sure we've all been in jobs where we go, you know, those those terrible words that come out of our mouth going, well, we've always done this. And then you kind of think, oh, no, I wish I hadn't have said that because actually, <laughs> you know, it's not the right answer, mm. but it's, it's giving them permission. And kind of the, the way we changed it was we all worked on certain tasks. So it could have been emails, but we got the team to all work on emails on the same day at the same time where they saw then at the end of that time, you know, five of them worked on it for five hours. We've had five hours of doing email queries. And at the end of that, they saw results. Yes. You know, those queries had gone down and it was mm -hmm. tangible to them that going, actually, this change does work. Yeah. And, and that, again, is something that's really important. And it's great that you had all of the team noticing mm -hmm. that and being a part of that, because so often, you, you can put ideas 
through or you can have a conversation you have a meeting but actually people don't necessarily see the end results of that no. so that doesn't really cement it in their mind as to why you should do that change and you can I'm sure you have noticed in the past you know people then can go away and think well I don't I still don't understand yes. why we're doing it but mm. if they can see those tangible results it makes it much more real doesn't it yeah and it it makes it achievable then as well mm. They, they can see the end result is achievable whereas you know you come in and get and you know you make change you adapt and things but they don't you know sometimes you can't visualize you can see the end result and you try yes. and put it across but unless you know the people that are doing the day-to-day -day job don't see it there's no buy-in from them but mm. we had had it straight away from the team and you know they, they, they've been fantastic throughout yeah and, and that certainly shone through in the nomination as well um so what have the key results of the change mm. been so we are now same day processing invoices and queries mm. so there's no priority given to payment terms supplier anything else everyone is priority for that day um which which is a major thing for us um, because it's made us be proactive and not reactive so being proactive has made us look at you know those little supplier accounts where someone is constantly asking you know can I have a remittance and you look at it going oh actually we haven't got their right email address yeah. so now let's correct that mm -hmm. so that the proactive side is coming into it or you know th this member of staff you know doesn't we don't think they've quite got the gist of this so we, we've been able to train members of staff, mm. you know, out in the business areas going, actually, you know, if you did this and this or you raised your purchase order this way, yeah, you know, we don't have the query to you. So it's it's been major and the team have seen the benefit, you know, with, with their mental approach to work as well mm -hmm. of not coming into a day to day process, but coming into, you know, a new process a new challenge but mm. actually it's achievable challenge and and i think what you're saying back then about buy-in as well is is really key isn't it and i think particularly at the moment and certainly in the times we've been through in the last couple of years but that to get that buy-in from the team and for them to understand why they are implementing this change mm -hmm. uh, and then also from the wider business is, is really important isn't it because mm -hmm. we're still most of us working remotely a lot of the yes. time aren't we so I think that the, that the more we feel part of a holistic team the better uh, and has that something which has come out of that for you, do you think? Yeah, absolutely. You know, te teamwork, you know, the bond in the team, we, we talk about we now, you know, mm -hmm. we are a team, you know, that I um, has has gone, you know, but we still celebrate individual achievement. Mm -hmm. But as a team, we sit back and go, actually, this is us, you know, this award is us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what we've achieved. And, you know, as you've rightly said it's you know we've celebrated this mm. you know we, we've told all of Waltham Forest about it you, you know we've you know we've linked in we've done everything about <laughs> it to go actually no we've we've done a great job yeah and the team sit back and go you know yeah great you know but they actually want to get on with their job as well you know, we're, we're not sitting I'm sitting cuddling the award but they're going actually we do want to get on with this work. I'm just holding this here now but it's a, it is I mean I think being proud of what you what you've achieved um <clears throat> is a great way to to kick start what you can then achieve in the future as well isn't it so you've you've got that as a sounding uh, as a as a base from what from which you can springboard off and and do even more and make even uh, even um, greater achievements for the for the team uh, and I think there's a lot to be said for being proud of it yeah and, and, and not be afraid of the change as well mm. so when you say shall we try you know there's no face on on teams that goes you know <laughs> it's, it's, it's a face that goes yeah let's let's give it a go you know we're, yeah. we're up for it and that's, that sounds fantastic. And I think, you know, sometimes um, public sector organisations get a bit of a, a bad rap about 
um, not being very efficient uh, and not doing things perhaps as as quickly as private sector organisations. Do you do you think that's a fair comment? I, I, I don't think it's fair, but it's it's understandable, I think, because, you know, we have lots of processes and procedures that we follow. Mm. You know, ev everything needs, you know, an approval, a budget, um, you know, a good receipt. It needs a whole, it's a whole chain of events. And unless someone understands the full end-to-end -end process, mm. it does seem very clunky and admin driven. Whereas actually, if we followed the process, it's a very smooth process mm, mm -hmm. um, and it does flow well. I mean, there's nothing wrong in, you know, looking at those processes, making sure they're doing the right job. But we do have to have those safeguards in place that we are paying the right people yeah. the right amount of money. You know, we have a contract, et cetera. And mm -hmm. I think it's all about education. It's about education internally and externally with suppliers. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and that is the key thing, isn't it? I know from a, a conversation we've been having that uh, you're um, going through an <coughs> ERP implementation at the, at the moment or shortly to be. Um, and, and I think having that relationship with the suppliers and building on that takes them on the journey with you, doesn't it? Um, uh, and then they can feel part of it, just as your team mm. is feeling um, connected and willing to go forward and happy to do that and proud, I think there's, a, there's something to be said with bringing your suppliers on board with you in that process as well. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And, so, I mean, suppliers are key, but it's, you know, we, we have to build those relationships up mm -hmm. with them to start with, and they have to have the confidence in us yeah. um, as, as well. And, and we, you know, we, we continue to build on that. That's a, that's a you know, ever, ever going uh, relationship ongoing isn't it and I yeah. think that I mean that it's a challenge but it's also one of the things which makes um our jobs interesting exciting isn't it because it is, they it's, are it's relationships well yeah it's, it's, it's rewarding as well because you mm. get that relationship with a supplier mm. and actually you do build on that and you you know it's it's a real pleasure to to work with suppliers where you have that good relationship with Absolutely. And then that and then that becomes a, a, a two way thing, doesn't yeah. it? You know, and you can you hear back. And uh, I was talking to um, an organization earlier on um, this week, in fact, yesterday for our in our innovation day. And um, and and it's if you're if you work with suppliers in a particular way and they feel that they that you're on their side, mm -hmm. then the, then actually um, innovative ideas can come out of that as well. Yeah. Um, so how has your team adapted? Um, we talked a little bit about it already, but um, since you've been there, how, how have you seen um, the team adapt and change in that time? I, th I think their confidence has grown um, in knowing that what we're doing seems right now. Mm. You know, that, that, you know we, we, we went through a big change period, it, you know, painful at times, but mm. rewarding at the end of it. And now we're kind of in that settled period of let's embed this, make sure it's sustainable throughout. Yeah. Um, but also, you know, they understood the need for change and that's continued now. Yeah. You know, they've, they've got the confidence and trust, you know, in, in, in me that we could say something and, you know, we go with it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that we can always revert back. Um, and I, I think it's, you know, also led to, you know, you know, the, the honest feedback that we always require. Um, but it's yeah. it's to actually encourage it. It's it's not to be going, oh, no, please don't, you know, but to go actually, you know, let's hear it. Let's hear from you if, if you don't think it's right. Um, but you also want to, yeah. Yeah, sorry, go. No, so you want you want to hear that kind of feedback, and and that, and once they feel that they've got the trust in 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 you, I think that's um, completely key as well, uh, yeah. and also seeing results from that as well. Exactly, and it, it's it's kind of that um, confidence that they can question things, mm -hmm. you know, and there's there's not a manager at the end of it that bangs their head on a you know the table going oh why have they questioned it you know that why can't they just do as i say mm. but, you know the, the the team you know from from 
you know, the purchase order team to the AP team, you know, just, you know, freedom to speak and just go, you know, why? And that is a perfectly understandable question. But they also have a sense of wanting to know more now as mm, well. Mm -hmm. And, and that... And, and I think that is is really important to the team and for its continued growth, isn't it, and, mm. and, and transformation. So you're not just, um, as you say, with someone who's going, well, why should I do this in a, in a combative or confrontational way? But why are we doing this? Because I want mm. to understand more and then maybe suggest other things um, that may be beneficial as well. And yeah. I think that there's... Um, a lot to be said from from asking the question why it's really how um uh, at ppm we like to we like to do things you say well you know why are we doing this to begin mm -hmm. with what are we hoping to achieve as a mm -hmm. result and lots of conversations and ideas can spring out of that and like you say you might not want to do all of them mm -hmm. but something new always comes out of that shared experience that you are now having with your team because yeah. they're not individually um, focus, but they're fo thinking of themselves as as a as a holistic team. So, yeah. but of course, it's it, it is a two way thing, isn't it? And leadership mm. is being a part of that team. Mm. Uh, what do you think that you have learned from the team that you're working with? Yeah, I mean, you you, you like to think you go into a you know a, a new job and you you think you know oh, I, I've I've been a manager for a long time, but actually you you go in and and you listen. You know, I, I loved the one to ones with the team members and, you know, enjoyed the time listening to them, mm. um, you know, and we all know that's really important. But with our, you know, manager's hat on, you know, our, our day to day is, you know, generally booked up in meetings these days, yeah. um, but it's making time for staff um, feel that they are listened to, mm. you know, winning an award is, is absolutely lovely. But they have to do feel valued. You can't, yes. you know, on a, on a, you know, day to day basis, um, that they are doing a good job. Yeah. Um, but I've also sort of learned the importance of, of the teamwork, of of how, you know, united a team approach can be and how strong mm. it can be. Mm. Um, you know, I, the, we have the full, you know, um, purchase to pay team. So the PO raising and the AP team yes. so you know we, we join them together so they work together so they see the end-to-end -end approach and and to me that I mean to me for, you know what I've learned is to sit back and actually enjoy these relationships that, that are being built mm. uh, and, I, and it's clear from the the nomination that you put forward that that is taking place and that mm -hmm. that has been a, a a significant change for the for the organization that you're in and that the rest of the team understand that and believe in it as well mm -hmm. and i think that when you've got that kind of trust and belief and understanding and you're asking you know why are we doing it this mm -hmm. way that's when uh, at that point that's where the as i said before there's a string a, a springboard to further growth and, and further success from there and I you know a lot to be there's a lot to be said for actually building that trust within the team um because all sorts of things sort of go on from that point onwards don't it is, they? Cause, yeah because you know as we all know we always want more from mm. them as well you know that there's a, a, a new system you know a, a new payment that comes in something else comes in something goes wrong mm. but their resilience is actually built up into the fact that actually this is all copable now yeah we, we can cope with this this is fine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and for me what i've learned is to actually you know actually enjoy those things not necessarily you know in my management role of you know what, what we've done etc but actually sit back and go how proud i am of them and, mm -hmm. and what we've achieved Oh, that's that's fantastic to hear. And um, so, so what are your next steps? We've talked about all the things you have been doing, the things you are yeah. doing. Um, what what's what's next on the plan for you, for you, and also for yeah. So for, for, for me, for for um, I inherit the accounts receivable team as well as accounts okay. payable and purchase orders. So I'm in the process of actually doing the same with them, listening to them. Mm. Uh, getting their feedback and, and that's the stage I'm at but really looking forward to to you know learning about them and again mm. more integration so we have a full team approach uh, we, we're going to be called transactional finance okay so yeah. you know we, we'll still have our individual 
team names within it but as a whole we're going to be transactional finance um yeah. we've had you know a, a nice full team meeting in person and and good interactions um yeah. and and it's it's maintaining what we have but growing at the same time and and looking for areas of growth mm. so you know we, we've kind of put in some of the quick wins but now let's look at the long-term goal of things mm. and, and that's the input from the team and, and myself is where we're going to be going all right, that all sounds fantastic and and you're you're in the process of living some of the experiences that we talk about so often yeah. at ppn how to join those different areas of procure mm. to pay together and what comes out what can come out of that as a result yeah. you know and, and and that's a lot of the ways that that organizations are heading at the moment and and i think um sort of going back to what we were talking about back in june as you said just there it's not about everybody suddenly becoming experts in in ar or, or, or ap or procurement but it's understanding isn't mm -hmm. it where those where those points knit together Absolutely. and you can become a whole team of sorts you know you understand where you need to understand those joined up kpis mm. and and you and you can um, and perhaps you can and tell me a little bit about that as well you're you're not faced with the egos that might exist within those different teams or the silos that exist because you're build you're sort of um, reporting into a, a into a single level do you yeah. see that yeah no absolutely and all also working as a as a larger team mm -hmm. um it, it gives named people so they actually know you know they get the wrong query come in they actually mm -hmm. know the name of a person to send a query on to in a different team yes you know so people are getting a better customer experience from us going mm -hmm. actually you know it's not this type of invoice you actually wanted account receivable but actually i know someone in there yeah I can pass you on to you know and we'll, we'll do that chain rather than the person starting again mm. so it's 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 team teamwork and and understanding each other's role we don't need to know the nitty-gritty of mm. everyone's role but if we understand what people do and and kind of their their key roles and things mm. we, we just build a better a team and, and actually a, a more you know nicer place to work with without the fear of going oh it's you know I've got to approach that team and you think actually I know that team now yeah no, it's fine and and it's about having those relationships isn't it within mm -hmm. them and, and understanding each other and I think that all sounds fantastic it sounds like you've got quite a lot of work on your hands <laughs> <laughs> but the end result will be something that you and they can all be extremely proud of i mean you're doing fantastic stuff already which is why mm -hmm. you've been the winners of the outstanding contribution to p2p award um but we want to see you next year <laughs> and uh, we're see what you there yeah we, we, we're going to continue to grow we're going to continue to improve but kind of the, fi the final thoughts are is that we do need to celebrate these things yes you know yeah, no, exactly we, we we do sit in the background um so you know really looking forward to it and thank you so much indeed for you know all the support that you give us as well well it's been an absolute pleasure and as i say it was fantastic reading some of your achievements in in the nomination and 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 the success of the team and your pride in 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 the team as well um really shone 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 through so Thanks very much for uh, joining us today and sharing your experiences and the background to why you are such a successful winner of the award. And um, to everybody listening uh, now, I'm sure if you've, you've picked up any ideas or perhaps you're going through a similar change, I'm sure, Maria, you'll be happy to chat to anybody who's thinking of um, implementing a change like this or perhaps is going through a change and wants to... Uh, so to pick your brains of, of any further ideas and how to make it such a success. Um, and for everybody, looking forward to connecting with you uh, on the rest of our activities throughout the Career and Leadership Day. And um, look forward to seeing you later. Take care. Bye bye. Thanks, Maria. Bye. <laughs>